know it's game one, but a year yeah. ago this time, this team wasn't doing that. Well, no, you're right. You're right. I agree with all that, but like a statement. I don't know if you're making a statement in game one that you beat the Sixers at home, but, but yes, you're right. A year ago, not at this time, but a year ago, 30 games into the season, think of how frustrated oh. we hated this team. Everybody oh in Boston hated this team. And, and I'm finally going to admit something, Bob. Uh-oh. I'm finally going to admit something. All right, so for the last three years, I've been adamant about saying they should trade Jalen Brown for Bradley Beal. Three years ago, I said it. Two years ago, I said it. <laughs> last year at this time, I said it. And now, finally, I'm going to say they should not trade Jalen Brown for Bradley Beal. That Jalen Brown is a better overall basketball player on a better contract than Bradley Beal. Jalen Brown has gotten much better. He was great last night, I thought, in his decision-making. You know, he struggled early to, you know, he missed some threes, but but then he, I thought he showed maturity. Instead of keeping, continuing to jack up threes, he did what he does well, right? He got out in transition, he finished, he got that kind of foul line pull up going, that mid-range pull up. Um, Jalen Brown, to me, I, I feel like, has established himself as, a, as an NBA All-Star now. I do. I think he's one of the top 25 players in the game. And I think now when you put Jason Tatum, who I think is continuing to mature, and I know we'll get to the technicals, so mature is a, a, a different word. In his game, his game is continuing to mature. 12 rebounds last night. Does it force it more efficient? And I think he's on a mission this year. I think he's on an absolute mission this year. And he's going to show people that, you know what, um, you called me soft at the end of the year when it mattered most. I- I'm going to show that I'm not soft. And I think he was hurt last year, too, at the end.